everybody. This is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this terrific little Halloween eye mask. It is a mask that you can wear for Halloween. Uh, it's for your kids, or you could make it for you if you want. It uh, has straps that Velcro in the back, and otherwise you can see through the eyes. It's got little cat eyes. Um, but you can take the cat eyes off and round off the corners if you want. Um, I use some fun Halloween uh, pumpkin and spider fabric for this, but you could choose some fun cotton uh, Halloween type fabric for your mask if you want. Totally up to you. But this is a fun little beginner sewing project, so anybody with basic sewing skills can make this project. So how do we do it? Let's get started. The first thing that we need is a pattern, and I'm going to put this pattern in the description section below the video so that everybody has it. This is a free pattern. You can just get it off the, um, the uh, description section, no problems at all, and you are going to use this to cut out a couple of things. You are going to cut out two pieces of your Halloween fabrics and you are going to cut out two pieces of Pellon SF101 interfacing or some other sort of lightweight um, woven interfacing for this. I, I like the SF101. It's a nice, lightweight, woven interfacing that doesn't stretch. Um, it's very good for uh, this type of a project. So you're going to have two pieces of the woven interfacing, and you're going to have two pieces of the uh, actual mask fabric. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to cut out from your Halloween fabric two rectangles that measure two and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches long or depending on who you're going to make this mask for if you're going to make this for an adult you're going to want this to be longer than eight and a half inches and you're going to have to measure your own head to determine this this size is for a child so if you use the two and a half inch by eight and a half inch uh, you can be sure that that will fit a child. But if you want it to fit yourself, make sure that these stri strips are, are longer because that is going to be what wraps around your head. You're going to need one piece of one inch Velcro that measures about an inch and a half so that it will Velcro behind your head and keep that mask in place. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take our two fabric pieces and we are going to turn them both wrong sides up on our work surface. We are going to take our woven interfacing, our SF101, and we are going to place it wrong sides together onto our mask and we're going to head over to the iron and we are going to use a hot iron and we are going to iron this interfacing onto the uh, wrong side of our mask fabric and uh, basically that's following the manufacturer's instructions but it's uh, if you have any questions just look at the instructions that come with your interfacing and it will tell you everything you need to know. But quite frankly, with this interfacing, it's super simple. Just go over it with a hot iron. And there, the glue side of this interfacing, because you will notice that there's a smooth side and a bumpy side. And that bumpy side is the glue side. Make sure that that's on the wrong side. And that glue will meld with the fabric and uh, this will become one piece of fabric once you've ironed it. So I'm just gonna head over to the iron and take care of that and come back and we'll go to our next step. Okay, so we are back and we have fused our interfacing onto the wrong side of our fabric. 
Now we are going to take our mask piece, place it on the wrong side of our fabric, and we are going to draw out the circles because we're going to cut those circles out. So just taking a pen just draw out these circles. Okay, now you will also notice that there are some slash marks on either side of this mask. We're just going to transfer those slash marks right here because that's where our straps are going to go. And we only need to do this on one of our mask pieces. Now we are going to take our scissors and we are just going to cut out the holes in our mask so that we will have something to see through. Okay, there we have it. We have two mask pieces with our eyes cut out. So the next thing that we are going to do is we need to make sure that our eye holes are not raw edged when we finish off our mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a quarter inch circle all the way around these eye holes. And you can just eyeball this or you can measure it out if you like. And those circles actually have a purpose. We are going to take our scissors and we are going to clip up to this circle some clips marks all the way around these eye holes. And you really do want to make sure this is about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so now that we have done that, we're going to go back over to the iron and we are going to press these tabs back just like this. And that will become important when we sew these two pieces together. 
So I'm just gonna head over to the iron and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I hope you can see that these tabs have been pressed to the wrong side, and that will come to our advantage when we're sewing these things together. Now we are going to take our two tab or two rectangular pieces and we are going to sew them right sides together just like this using a one quarter inch seam allowance. We're going to sew along the bottom of one edge and along the side leaving one edge open because we need to turn this right sides out. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch this uh, together so that we can make our straps for our mask. And we're going to do that with both of these rectangular pieces. Okay, here we are at the sewing machine and we are just going to stitch these rectangles together starting at one long edge going to back stitch I'm not using any pins here there's no reason Pivot at the bottom. And back stitch. And repeat for the other strap. So we have finished our straps. All we need to do now is turn them right sides out. Okay, so I am back and I have stitched these uh, straps. I'm just going to clip this corner near the stitching so that we can have a nice square corner. I'm going to do that for both sides. And then I'm going to turn these straps right sides out and I'm going to use my that purple thing in order to accomplish that. And the other. I like that purple thing because it has a flat edge for turning and it has a pointy edge for poking out the corners. So we're going to poke out these corners and as you can see we have nice crisp corners because we clipped off those uh, edges close to the stitching. And there we have it. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to turn our one of our mask pieces, it doesn't matter which one, right sides out and we're going to place our two strap pieces basically even with the eye holes. And I'm going to make them 
hang over just a little bit on the edge so that we make sure that we catch them with the stitching. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I am going to just stitch uh, about an eighth of an inch uh, seam allowance here to hold that in place while we move on to our next step. So I'm just going to run over and do that real quick. Okay, so I have just added just a 1 8 inch to hold that in place and we have our two straps. Now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to place our two mask pieces right sides together, making sure that our straps are on the inside of our mask piece. And we are going to pin our mask together. Okay, now you can see that our mask is pinned together and our straps are right inside the inside. Now we are going to head over to our sewing machine and we are going to do two things. We are going to stitch all the way around our mask using a one quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm going to show you how to go about doing this. Okay, so we are back at the sewing machine and we have our mask. I am going to start at one of our cat eye points and I'm going to stitch all the way around the mask. Make sure not to catch the end of the strap in the stitching. If you want, you can even pull it out uh, of the hole of the mask if you want. The raw edge is fine, but the sewn edge, make sure you don't catch that. And we're just gonna stitch all the way around using our one quarter inch seam allowance, taking the pins out as we go.
So we have finished the outer portion of our mask. Okay, we have sewn our mask all the way around. What we're going to do is we are going to trim our corners here close to the stitching. And we are going to trim off this excess strap here on both sides. And we are going to turn this mask right sides out through the eyes. And there's our mask. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to stitch right around using a top stitch, which means close to the edge, our eyes. And as you can see, our clipping is coming into importance at this point because we want those clipped edges to be inside so that we have a nice clean seam all the way around our eyes. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm going to uh, just stitch all around these eyes and we'll move on to our next step. Okay, so here we are at the sewing machine again, and we have our eyes ready to be sewn. Make sure that everything is out of the way. Make sure that your tabs are facing the wrong side, all the way around. And I have a little uh, stiletto here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that is going to help me with this process. You can use a pin or any other sort of poking device um, to make sure that my tabs continue to face inside so that I have a nice clean seam. So we are going to stitch these eyes, making sure that our tabs are facing inwards all the way around.
Okay, so we have done our eyes. We're gonna clip off our excess threads here. which we have a few. And we are going to uh, head over to our final step. Okay, so there's our eyes all stitched and no raw edges. Now all we have to do is add our Velcro. And what we need to do is we have two sides to our Velcro. We're going to add one side on one side of our strap and the other on the other side of our strap because they are going to crisscross in the back like that, as you can see. And then we will finish our mask. I'm not going to sew on the Velcro because that's just a simple process. All you have to do is just sew a rectangle around the Velcro and you are finished. This mask is now done. This was a super simple beginner sewing project that anybody with basic sewing skills can make. The eye holes are a little fidgety, but you can do it. I know you can. Just use the pattern and follow this tutorial and you will have a terrific Halloween face mask. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you'll give it a try. If not, um, head over to SewVeryCrafty.com for more sewing and crafting projects. Um, but I hope you liked it and please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up for this project. Um, it is Halloween coming up right around the corner, so um, try out these masks. They don't take very long to make. Give them out as party favors if you like. This year, people might be staying home and just having parties uh, instead of going trick-or-treating, so these masks will be fun to give away um, or just wear yourself as the hostess. So uh, there you have it. Uh, thanks for joining me today, and I hope you uh, give this project a try. Thanks all, and again, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.